Hey everybody, we have a special guest today. I, this isn't really sounding off, it's hanging out with Amy. Hey Amy. It's, am I the first sounding off in person? Yes, you are actually. Nice. But it's not really sounding off because I'm gonna explain to you how Amy and I actually know each other, even though we've never met until about five minutes ago and we happen to randomly be in the same town in upstate New York as she's passing through to Niagara Falls and I'm here visiting my family. So we're actually at my brother's uh, place here. Um, it's so beautiful. It's really nice, much nicer than Atlanta has been for the last three weeks raining. Oh, but it's been raining? It's been raining every single day. I, when I drove up and I saw their pool, I said, that's, that's the bluest pool I've seen because my pool is green because I get Those six inches nice. of water in it every day when it rains. Oh, that's a pain. So anyways, I wanted to tell people, people are like, when are you going to do a video with Amy? When are you going to do a video with Amy? Well, I've actually done a video with Amy before. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to tell a little bit about the history of me and Amy. Some of you know this, but I met Amy through Facebook a couple years ago or something. I don't even remember when it was. And Amy sent me a message and sent me a video. And it was a video, if you scroll down her YouTube, which very few people ever do, they never go down either of our YouTube channels. To the they, end. Th they think that, we made th that we've made about five videos. Well, yeah, I mean, it's kind of like that when you find somebody new. Right. Yeah. But when somebody says, oh, why don't you make a video on this? And I say, well, I've made 10 videos on that. I don't know, it happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so Amy uh, did this tune Freedom Jazz Dance, and I saw that, and, and she's just playing with, uh, you're tapping on a box or something, right? Well, let me, well, why did I even write to you? Okay. Was because my friend Callan sent me, you know, the perfect, first perfect pitch video. Dylan video, yeah. Yeah, which was also like an advertisement for Neural. Right. Right? So yeah. I saw, I remember watching this video, you know, laying in bed or something on my phone, and, and I saw, <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, it's a kid with perfect pitch. <laughs> and then I said well, maybe I can keep up, you know? And so you plunk a note or two, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, man, this kid's good. And then you did really hard things, and I was like, and then I was just blown away by Dylan. So, you know, you watch, I don't know if you've, if you've seen the early Perfect Pitch videos with Dylan, but I was so excited. I was like, how did, you know, how did that happen? And then as the video progresses, you talk about, you know, putting the earphones on your wife's stomach and everything. And I, I was just a believer, like, right from the beginning. So, so I wrote to him, as I'm sure many of you guys have. Um, and, and I just said, it's hard when you write to somebody you don't know. Because at first you don't really expect that they're ever going to see it. Well, actually, when you, in Facebook, it actually goes, if you're not friends with the person, it goes to this filtered yeah. message thing. And right. I always forget to go there. So I was going through one day, and I found uh, I found your your text, but your text had a video with it. And well, not at many first people, I raved about Dylan. Yeah, you did, you did. But 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 <laughs> I, I want to go let you know. Like, but I saw that when I saw the video. I mean, not many people send videos, so I was like, oh, let me check this out. So Amy is singing "Freedom Jazz Dance." It's an Eddie Harris tune that none of you know, and the fact that Amy knew it and was singing it solo and improvising over it, I said, "Wow, what is this?" So then immediately, this is what I do. I went to her YouTube channel because that's where it was from. And then I heard, Have You Met Miss Jones? Now, if you haven't listened to that, that's one of Amy's best videos ever. It's one of her best solos ever. And she's scatting along with it. And I was blown away. And then I, then I got in touch with you. And I was a huge fan. It was probably four or five months later. Yeah, it was, it was, it yeah, it was, it was months later. At the time, Amy was doing this thing called Periscope. Well, we Skyped, right? We Skyped, we Skyped, yeah. And then I told him. And you told, told me about, about Periscope. Yeah. And I said, what's Periscope? And you said, well, it's like Twitter's live stream. And I said, really? And then you, then you told me how to sign up for it, so I signed up for it. I started a, 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 a Periscope account, and then Amy told her friends to follow me on there. And she had thousands of followers. And so she used to get on and do live streams. This is, way, this is before Facebook Live, long before Facebook Live. So... Anyways, so we would go on and do these periscopes, both of us, at different times. So one day, Amy said, Amy had a show on there and said, "I want you if you want to be a guest, call in at this time." And it was midnight. I remember this. <laughs> it's because she's in California. So yeah, I called in and Amy held up her her iPhone and and I was interviewed. I told a story. Yeah, like your face was on my phone, <laughs> and and I'm holding it up so everybody can see. 
And it, it was like a story time, like like gigs from hell kind of story time yes. or something like that. And you told about an awful gig. I think you've told about it on another. Yeah, on I've I've had so many it. awful gigs that, that it's it's uh you know yeah. they, they all blend together. But he was good at it. <laughs> well, my Periscope thing didn't last long. I kept saying Amy would keep coming on. I was like, oh, I've got like I have three people that watch. So one time I was doing a Periscope and and I had two people on and then it dropped to one, then it dropped to none, and then that's when I said that's it. <laughs> Uh, it no took a while Paris to build it up. But <laughs> it built it up. I built it up to about ten people or so, and then those ten people would get on for about thirty seconds, and they just start to drop those are, off. Those are my people. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and sometimes Amy would come on, and then she would invite her friends, and then I'd get you know a hundred people, and then it would dwindle down to. We're nothing having amazing again. musical conversations <laughs> before any of you guys knew about Rick. He was just sharing to ten people, and I got on there because. I, somebody had told me that you could, you know, perform for people, you know, have like little live concerts in your house. Yeah. So that's kind of how it started. And she knew every tune that you could ever imagine, as you guys know. So my favorite thing would be, I would always, when Amy would come on her live stream, I'd be in a session or something, like, oh, Amy's doing this, let me request a tune. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be thinking like, okay, what's a weird tune I can request? Tree Stay or some Joe Beam tune or something. Amy knows it. And no matter what it was, any standard you knew. It didn't matter any standard, any tune from the 80s, any tune from the 90s, <laughs> Amy knew it. So then I was like, okay, forget about Periscope and I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. So then Facebook Live came out. So I start doing Facebook Live and I call Amy up and I say, you need to do Facebook Live. But Facebook Live is, is, is better than Periscope because there's more people on it because you actually have friends on, on Facebook. So then Amy started yeah. doing Facebook Lives. And you're talking to your friends and not strangers. Exactly. And you don't get all the trolls. It was <laughs> very, tro very trolly. Oh, it was trolly. The tr <laughs> Periscope is the trolliest. Yeah, it's like the, it's like the <laughs> armpit of live streaming. <laughs> it's, it's absolutely the worst. So then, um, so we do Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. And then the reason that I kind of stopped doing it, I was doing a... Uh, once a week album review. I talk about my favorite albums. I talk about John Coltrane. I talk about ACDC, Led Zeppelin, all this stuff. And then they started taking down my videos. Oh, yeah. I, at first, you could play anything you wanted. And then the, then it was like... And I remember you got dinged a couple times for that. You were playing the radio in some video. Low. Barely hear it. And your video got taken off. Yeah. So correct. then we were talking about, okay, why are they doing this? So then I then my intern said, you should start, told me I should start on YouTube. So I started my YouTube channel. In, in, well, it happens even worse on YouTube. but It happens worse on yeah. YouTube. So I started my YouTube channel last June, and it's going on now. All of a sudden, I start you know, developing a, an audience there, and I, and I call Amy up. I said, Amy, forget about Facebook Live. You're going to do amazingly well on YouTube. This is mm -hmm. the thing you should do. And Amy, did, and Amy said, that. oh, I don't know, I don't know. And I said, I'm telling you, YouTube, you're going to be great on YouTube because it's, it combines, it, it's, it's, you, have to, you have to actually create an audience, but that audience is way better than Facebook. And I, Facebook I have no problem with or anything, but... It's still a good tool. Yeah. And then you started doing your live streams in September, I believe, right? As soon as I could, you have to have 10,000 subscribers. Yeah, no, I mean, but you started your YouTube channel in September yes. from scratch. That's right. It hasn't been a year yet. Yeah. And when she started, she had 225 subscribers. I remember that. Mm -hmm. And now you're about 50,000. Almost, yeah. We're getting close. So You're um, almost at 100. <laughs> hopefully in a few days. Yeah. So anyways, her, then she, she said to me, you don't mind if I tell this, do you? I don't so know she, what you're going to say. She says, uh, she says, well, I don't know. What am I going to do on, on this? And I said, oh, well, yeah. why don't you teach songs? And she's like, well, like what? And I remember, um, and I said, you know every song. And I said, you know what you should teach? You should teach, and I sent you this Oscar Peterson video. That's I said, right. you should teach some licks out of here because I'd like to learn how to play them. <laughs> <laughs> I sent you that Blues Etude, which was a huge video that you did. You taught some of those licks that are... I think I've done five videos those from are, Ronnie Scott. Right? That, that is the greatest <laughs> blues of all time. If so you don't, much good stuff. If you don't know this, this is Oscar in 1973 or 74, Ronnie Scott's in London. And it's the most amazing blues. It's a trio with him, uh, uh, Niels Henning, Orsted Pedersen on bass, and Barney Kessel on guitar. And the first one that you did has those six that move, but didn't did it. It's impossible to play. Yeah. And you did. And this is where Amy started doing her. I don't know if it's when you started doing it, your hand shot. 
And everybody would complain about me. Why don't you have hand shots like Amy does? Well, I mean, this whole thing's like the start of just a good, good give and take. Yeah. Like, because I can't, I can't say, you know, how many ideas I've gotten from Rick and probably vice versa. Absolutely. It's, I, people think that, um, that they'll say, oh, they talk as if, well, they don't realize that you, you and I really know each other and, and, uh, you and Amy should do a video together or, or, uh, it's like, well, actually we've already done a video together. Just so it wasn't on YouTube. <laughs> you can't count it. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually just talking on if these videos are still up on, uh, on Periscope, but don't go there. <laughs> anyway, so it's been, you're coming up on a year. You still got a, You still have a, uh, you still got a couple months actually until it's a year. Yeah, I think and how, it'll be fifty thousand before a year. Yeah, and how how do you how do you feel about how do you like YouTube? I like it a lot. You're right. I wasn't sure. Well, I think what made me not want to do it in the beginning was um, was because I had heard that if you wanted to be successful on YouTube, you had to upload daily, and you told me yes, that's the yeah. case. It has to be quality content and often. And so actually I only guessed that because I looked at other people and I said seems like the only people that do well are people that put out videos all the time. Yeah, like the vloggers and Yeah, vlo exactly. So we started listening to vloggers and, and I was paying attention to who my kids listened to also. And know? me too, even though my kids are half the age of Amy's. Yeah, <laughs> I'm twice the age of Amy and her kids are, are twice as <laughs> old as mine. <laughs> but um so they um Oh, I know what I was going to say. Yeah. I So I kind of thought that I would make like some performance videos you know like this is how i play i think i did wonder wall by oasis you uh, yes know? you did i remember that like things that i do at my gigs um and those videos were like <laughs> like nobody even cared but then i taught you know an oscar peterson lick and I, and then i i realized oh these people want to be taught for free <laughs> i remember to call it calling amy up and saying um after one of her first videos i said amy you're not looking directly into the camera. You're looking. She was at doing on her iPhone. I said, "You're looking at the, at yourself." I can tell your eyes are not directed on the thing. It's hard. <laughs> it is because the 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 camera thing is is over here. So you're actually looking at the end of the phone, which is um, kind of counterintuitive. Right at the camera. Right at myself. <laughs> right at the camera. Right at myself. So, I, but I would always call her up and I'd say, "Oh man, amazing shot there. Your hands look great." And and. You always end up doing these weird things in videos. So Amy doesn't really play like this with her fingers. She always is moving her fingers out of the way so that you guys can see what she's playing, right? Yeah. I mean, you're always altering. That's not really how you would play on a gig. That's right. Yeah. I, I mean, because you realize when your hand's in the way and they can't see. And so, you, yeah. Yeah. But your hand shots, though. So I have steal all Amy's kind of hand angles that uh, that you do. But you have the thing where you got where you can't get around the yeah i need to get some nice arm that is strong enough to hold my nice camera now yeah at, right over my head it's it's really tricky i've tried it lots is. of things and it, i still just have a tripod right you know in the center and i'm having to reach around it and it, <laughs> it really sucks <laughs> what are you doing i i actually have a little um d little uh connector i bought for my stand that actually turns turns a thing like this and I shoot it with my phone right above the keys you only do phone shots above the keys yeah I don't I can't do my big camera it won't it's it's I don't I don't trust it above there you you have to dust before you do your big camera above the oh keys. yeah and, and I can't dust that camera <laughs> like, I can't I can't get uh I don't have enough light I have to light it so much oh, yeah. down there because you have all the natural light there mm -hmm. in your videos which really is it's nice to have as you can see it's nice having natural light it um uh, it really helps in shots and when you have to artificially light I do because my studio is really dark where Amy at her house is lit with natural light beautifully and uh, and I think that helps a lot on videos yeah although I really like to watch your videos I mean I think you have your lamps placed really nicely and, and it's just a, isn't it a cool looking studio it is so both is, both is good you have nice lighting well I like the I, I mean my background looks cool and everything but it's like I said I've got to artificially light everything and it's yeah. a, it's a pain do you have the diva light? What do you mean over the top? You mean? <laughs> no, I ordered it from Amazon. It's I don't this, know what that is. It's a what ring. That? It's a diva. Oh ring. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen those actually. We've had those in the studio with certain shoots. Yeah. If we ever switch over to makeup tutorial, you put that. Put it my right kids above. use it for selfies. <laughs> my kids only by accident end up in my videos. My daughter Layla always walks in. She walked in on this one video. Nobody will play with me, and she's kind of wandering around in the back and everything. People it's like, hard. 
after they're after, out of school. Yeah. Like, because you, if they're at school and if I'm shooting school, something, I don't feel guilty. Yeah. For you know, neglect neglecting them, but <laughs> once they're around, then it kind of just seems silly to say, "Mom's gonna make a video." Yeah. Yeah. This is what Amy and I do on our days off. This is actually not a day off. I am really glad. I got a chance to meet Amy in person after all of this time. And if you guys want to ask us any questions, please leave your comments in the comment section. I know you can't believe it that we're actually both together in person. This isn't some... Blue... They might think that we... They... Oh, they, they think... Every, they, people think I'm in front of a green screen. Have they ever asked you if you're in front of a green <laughs> no, nobody's screen? nobody's ever asked me. Okay. <laughs> My background's not Oh, you're, you're in front of a green screen. Like, what? <laughs> like, I don't even know what a green screen is. It's like... It's ridiculous. Uh, um, so, so Amy, so we did it. There you go. Yeah. We did it in person. And look here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. See, we are actually together. There is no green screen. I, I just had this idea that. I'm not singing, Amy. That we could sing. You, <laughs> no. You, you say tomato, and I, wouldn't it be awesome? No. But Rick. I'm not singing, Amy. Somebody, somebody just Somebody commented a on a video yesterday <laughs> saying that, boy, you're a really bad singer. And I, th I said something like, yeah, you think? I just think that would be the funniest thing in the world if we sang that. No, we're not going to do it. I was attempting but... to sing on a video yesterday. <laughs> I and, cracked uh, myself up. And it was, it was so horrible. That... You always sing right in tune. And you know what? For me, I, ca I care nothing if people sound good when they sing. If somebody can scat and you know improvise and sing all the notes, I'll listen to them all day. Like that's I, that's how it is for me. I don't even care. Like a lot of times I'll teach Skype lessons, and I'll you know they'll be playing the piano and I'll say, all right, this time I'm going to ask you to sing this line, and and they'll be like, oh, I don't sing, and I say, I don't care what you sound like. I really don't. It makes no difference. I'm not saying that to get you to sing tomato oh, with me. Look, but, uh, and anyone that's heard me sing, Amy, knows they don't want to hear me sing. <laughs> uh, are we going to see the Jacob video, the second one? Is that ever going to come out? Yeah. Can it's... you get an internet connection this week? <laughs> Being on vacation, it's. <laughs> I can't tell you how frustrated I've been with it. But, like, yesterday... Um, so wherever we're at, you know, the Wi-Fi signal hasn't been good. Yeah. So I'm using my husband's computer... It's uploading. I got to 72% yesterday of it oh, uploaded. Really? It's an hour long. So right now it's at the hotel. It has been since last night. We woke up this morning. Is it, it was uploading? At, it was at 27%. Oh, brother. It's awful at the hotel. It's horrible. But it's really going to be worth it. Yeah, hour-long videos. I do hour-long videos all the time, yes, so I know what they're like to. <laughs> I know what they're like to upload. Um, all right, so listen. Please subscribe to This Everything Music channel and Amy, Amy Nolte, Nolte Music. music. I can't tell you how many people write to me and say, can you do a video on, on this particular thing? And I say, I say, no, but my friend Rick already did, and it's much better than anything I could ever do. So I'm always sending people your way. I kind of feel like, you know, if you're watching me, you ought to be watching Rick. It's, I mean, we're, we're I, different... We have all the same subscribers, pretty much. Well, except you got twice as many, but... Uh, and, and then Adam Neely beats us both. But, but I also, I refer people to Adam because he... He makes great videos too. I was just watching Adam's new video just uh, just when you were driving up. What was it? He is a, his Q and A. Oh, good. And he had some really funny things in it. He's a funny guy. He's very funny. I love Adam. <laughs> Anyways, All right. thanks everybody for watching. Yeah. We'll see you later.